Welcome to Date Night Cook. Today, we have another request. And this request comes from Alex. And Alex writes to us, Hey, I've always wondered how to cook the perfect pad thai for my date, but have always messed up the noodles. Can you help me out? Help is here, Alex. So, tonight, we're gonna make pad thai. And to help me, I have a good friend of mine, Christian, from Westside Muta. Hey guys. You see what I did there? I got Muta guy helping me make pad thai. Anyways, making pad thai is actually pretty simple. There are places in the world where it's street food, but there are a lot of subtleties to doing it. There are some challenges. The perfect noodle is sometimes hard to come by if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, and it's always best to have all your ingredients laid out in front of you before you get started because once you start cooking it, it's constant motion. For our ingredients, everything we have today, we of course have the noodles. And this is a great rice noodle. Our protein, today is the shrimp. Fresh cilantro, fresh green onions, crushed dry roast peanuts, not salted, garlic and onion, a lime, some bean sprouts, and of course the flavor, you want to have the sauce. This sauce is actually really easy to make. It's only about three ingredients and the recipe you can find below. But this is date night cook, so hey, if you decide you want to buy one from the store, I'm not going to tell anybody, just make sure you don't get stuff with too much sodium. To get started, Let's get uh, the wok out. And you definitely want to use one of these things when you're cooking pad thai. Put it on your stove and get your heat up to medium high. And when I say medium high, this is what I mean. Get some oil in the wok. Cushion, did you get shrimp? Of course. Dump it right in. So the trick here is we want to put the ingredients one at a time because they all have different cooking time and different amount of time they need to spend in the wok. So first we're going to cook the shrimp, we're going to set it aside, then we're going to do the onions and the garlic and so on and so forth. So the trick here is to keep it moving, keep it moving around so you get the shrimp cooked through evenly. And you definitely want to make sure this is done. This is not the seafood you can serve raw. Once the shrimp it's all nice and orange like that. It shrunk a little bit, it curled up. Only about 5-10 minutes later, you can take it off the heat and set it aside. Next, put the wok back on the heat. Onions and garlic goes right in. If you need a reminder as to how to chop onions, you can watch this video right here. I just didn't want to have Christian do it, but nobody will see a Muay Thai guy cry. I cry around onions so much. So, <laughs> Christian, you're, you're, you're an athlete, so you have a pretty strict diet most of the time, but uh, I, I know, like, you know, you have your weeks off and you guys, athletes I know, go nuts and eat a everything bit. inside. A bit. So, you know, this, this being a more of a date cooking show, what's maybe one of the fanciest meals you ever had? For me, um, probably the fanciest above all must have been uh, when I used to be in college, we went to Quebec City and we ate at this four dining restaurant called Saint Amour's, which uh, had uh, well, it was a great meal. It was uh, I think eight eight servings and uh, eight courses, sorry. And we had different wine pairings at every course, and uh, that was my memory's best meal or fanciest meal I ever had. All right, well, yeah. one of these times we'll do something with the eight courses, baby. <laughs> with the onions, you want to keep them moving as well. Try not to have them stick too much to the bottom. Move them around. If need be, if they're burning too much, turn the heat down a little bit. They will cook quickly, especially if they chop fine like this. So once they're pretty much done, you can set them aside. Take them off the heat and just leave them there. Now for the tricky part. This is the part that Alex wanted us to focus on, the noodle. And we're using the rice noodle. This is a five millimeter. It doesn't take too much time to cook it. It's great for pad thai because it takes well to any sauce and flavor you put on it. it it's, a, it's a good medium to carry it. So what you want to do to have this perfectly cooked noodle is dump it in a bowl. Boil some water. Now we wait again. <laughs> Once the water boils, just make sure you cover your noodles completely. Five minutes will be plenty for it to soften up and get cooked and ready to go. Five minutes later, you want to get the hot water out as quickly as you can, strain it all out, get the cold water, 
and just make sure you cool those noodles down right away. They're not fully cooked yet, but they're pretty damn close. And this is the balance, and this is the trick to make this work. Thank you. We're ready to go. All the ingredients are ready. It's time to get it all cooked. Good. So get your heat back on. Back to that medium high that I showed you. And now we add everything in. You get your shrimp back in there. Get noodles in. And the sauce. The trick here is you gotta start moving this all right away. Keep it all moving. Use two utensils if you have to. Probably best if you do. That's only gonna take about two minutes. And seeing that I have Christian here, he's gonna handle that part. I'm gonna chop up some green onions just to help with those finishing touches for this dish. How's it looking? Looking great. Delicious. Perfect. When it's almost done, when it's almost ready to go, this is where these sprouts come in. Add those right in. Two minutes later, that's all it takes. It's done. Get it off the heat. Turn that off. Get your cilantro. Put that right in. Give it one final good mix. And now we're ready to present. So at this point, we're ready to plate. And uh, Christian, thank you again for coming and helping me out with this. Hey, is there anything you wanna throw yeah, in here? For sure, guys. Um, no, uh, always my pleasure joining by here. Uh, Pleasure joining him for the Pad Thai recipe. Um, if any of you guys are interested in uh, doing some Muay Thai, training some Muay Thai, come check us out. Westside Muay Thai, westsidemuaythai.com. Uh, also check us out on Facebook and the link below. Thanks. Awesome. Woo. Plating, super easy. Get the bowls, get your Pad Thai, and make sure you get good even amounts of everything into each bowl. And to make this properly pretty, sprinkle some green onion on top. Some more of your cilantro. And this is where the crushed peanuts come in. This will give it that really authentic taste. And serve it with just some wedges of lime right on the side. And there we go. Perfect pad thai. Your date will love this. Shrimp pad thai. Like and share this video, follow us on social media, and for more cool stuff, visit datenightcook.com. Mm. Oh, that is good. That's really good.